The Veterinary and Livestock Services Division, in collaboration with the Global Environment Fund Southeast Coast Project, has culminated the first ever sustainable apiculture farmer field school. During the six-week program, 22 apiculturists received theoretical and practical training on best practices in honeybee production, as well as opportunities for ongoing mentoring as they work to create productive, efficient, and successful apiaries. Recognizing the importance of the contribution of the graduates to the sector, National Project Coordinator of the Southeast Coast Project, John Calixt, stated that this latest action seeks to increase local production to meet the demands of the market, ultimately reducing our food import bill. He says that the training is in line with the project's goal of providing sustainable livelihoods in the Southeast. The Southeast Coast is what I call the new frontier for sustainable livelihood opportunities. And you may ask yourself, why is that so? You're all trainees from the Southeast Coast, from Denry into Lavery. And if you think carefully and you look around um, when you're going back to your, to your homes this afternoon, um, you, can re you realize that there are several very important ecosystems, terrestrial and marine, very important heritage and historical sites. There are cultural activities in your area and they are all able to provide sustainable livelihoods. So this project is really about providing sustainable livelihoods, utilizing resources from those ecosystems. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, says the ministry's mandate is to promote agriculture and improve food security. He emphasizes that honey and its related products make an invaluable contribution to the sector's overall goal and that youth participation in the sector is critical to its success. But in the last three or so weeks, I have been involved in a number of training sessions where I have to give remarks. And you know what it tells me? The ministry is focused on building the capacity of the people in the agricultural sector. And that does well for us. Because it is one thing to give the fish, but my principle is to teach you how to fish. Apiculture, for many years, I have been hearing that it is not an attractive subsector in the Ministry of Agriculture. Because it means that just like we have an aging farmer population in terms of the banana farmers, the vegetable farmers, we are experiencing the same in the apiculture subsector. Therefore, we must do something to get younger persons attracted to it. According to Minister Prosper, opportunities for improved capacity remain at the forefront of the Agriculture Ministry's efforts to maintain and enhance the apiculture sector in St. Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.